course, we always have a great message. The chief apostle Barry Glover is known by the workings of many signs, wonders, and mighty deeds among the people. He is the house speaker. The message is entitled, The Just Shall Live by Faith. And scripture reading is from Habakkuk 2 and 4. Say, Behold the proud, his, his soul is not upright in him, but the just shall live by faith. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, we come before your throne of love, mercy, and grace tonight in the name of your precious Son, Jesus, who ask you for clear understanding and direction as Apostle Glover give this message. Father, we ask you that the Holy Spirit open up their ears, heart, so they can receive the message. And we ask that in the name of your precious Son, Jesus. Amen. Amen. And now I present to you Apostle Barry Glover. Thank you, Brother Fred. God bless you. Uh, let us pray. Father, we come to you today in the name of Jesus. Lord, we are your gates. We thank you. We praise you. We magnify you. We exalt you. We always lift up the name of Jesus, Lord. That's the only name given whereby men must be saved. The name of Jesus. Thank you for your salvation, health, strength. Thank you for your goodness, mercy, generosity, love, and kindness, and grace. Thank you for your presence, revelation. Thank you for revelation from the word tonight, Lord. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. The, message, the message today is entitled, The Just Shall Live by Faith. God has given us a command to live by faith. Hallelujah. It's not a suggestion. It is a command. God has commanded us to live by faith. It says in Galatians, praise the Lord. If you have a Bible, open your Bible to Galatians chapter 3, verse 11. And it says, But that no man is justified by the law in the sight of God, it is evident for the just shall live by faith. The just shall live by faith. Living by faith means to conduct oneself in the manner of expressing faith in God. Living by faith means that we accept what God is saying as the truth. And we speak that truthful word before there is any natural appearance of what God is saying. It's true before I naturally see it. What God is saying that he's done is true to me before I naturally see it, before I feel it. It's true because God cannot tell a lie. Hallelujah. And when I accept that word to be true, which I do, accept God's word to be true, and say that it's true, that is the operation of faith. Living by faith means that a person is consistently believing the Word of God. Living by faith means that a person is constantly believing the Word of God along with saying that word, belief. You know, there are people who say they are people of faith. They say they believe the Word of God and then you ask them about their state of being and they'll tell you that they're sick and you tell them say well the word of God say you heal by you heal with his stripes by whose stripes he were healed and to let you know that they are not living by faith they're living by the condition the circumstance how they feel what doctors say what they think about it, what other folk are saying they'll tell you about the natural condition instead of saying what God has said. Hallelujah. In other words, there are some pretenders. People say they're living by faith, and they're not. Hallelujah. Living by faith is when you accept what God said to be true. Hallelujah. Faith is the evidence of things not seen. The evidence, proof. Evidence is proof. Proof of what's not seen. Now, it, it can be seen in the world of the Spirit. 
It's seen by God's eyes, but it's just not seen with a natural vision for a certain amount of time. It's the evidence, faith is the evidence of things not seen. Things not seen. So they exist because things exist. They're just not seen. When God said he's made you rich, if you're living by faith, you even though you don't see the money in your bank account, you don't see the money in your house, not with your natural vision. You yet say that you are a rich person based on the word of God, Proverbs 10, 22, which says the blessing of the Lord, make it rich. Now God says you're blessed with all spiritual blessings. Word of God says you are blessed of the Lord. If you're his child, you are a child of the blessing. That means you're blessed. Hallelujah. You're in the blessed family. You have all the blessings on you. Hallelujah. So now the blessing of the Lord make it rich. So you don't wait to say, well, I got to see the money first before I say I got it. I got to see my the gold in my hands and touch it and, and, and before I can say it's true. No, you live in my faith. Hallelujah. You'll say it's so before you naturally see that it is so. You're talking about it. The just shall live by faith. So you find in the word of God, like I did when I was in the hospitals uh, years ago, I found that the word of God said in Isaiah 53, 5, I was in the hospital. The word of God said that I was healed with his stripes. I didn't understand that word. I mean, because I naturally, fact, natural fact, we're not denying, denying natural facts, but we deny their right to exist in our life. Hallelujah. When they're, you know, when they're contrary to what God is saying. Hallelujah. When something is different from what God has said he's done for me, then I, 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 I deny that thing the right to be in my life. Hallelujah. It has to be removed because I accept what God said. But when I saw the word, I didn't understand the operation of faith. But I knew that God could not tell a lie. And even though I was sick, I decided that I would speak the word of God only, and that I was healed with his stripes. As a result, that came about. That came about. Hallelujah. My healing appeared in my body. And that was a great miracle. Hallelujah. Praise God. Uh, living by faith means that a person is consistently believing the word of God along with saying that word belief. Living by faith means that a person is doing what God has told him or her to do. Hallelujah. You know, some people say, well, I'll, I'll confess the word and I'll, you know, they say, they say it's, that the word is true. I'll believe the apostle, but I'm not going to do what God told me to do. The other things God told me to do. Uh, faith works by love. That's the word of God. So if you say, well, I got something against the apostle. I just don't like the way he looked. But I believe I'm healed with his strength. Uh, that word won't manifest in your life. Because the word of God says, you should love one another as, as he has loved us. So you should love your neighbor as, as you do yourself. Faith working by love. If you hate the apostle, you got something against the apostle. Hallelujah. You see, then that'll stop your faith from working because you're not acting in the spirit of love. What operates faith is love. Hallelujah. So living by faith means that a person is doing what God has told him or her to do. God told you to stop fornicating. See, some people, well, I don't know why I don't have the manifestation of what I've been saying. I've been saying for 20 years, Apostle Ben. That I, I had got certain amounts of land, and it 